welcome back to my channel so if you want to see how I did my everyday look go ahead and subscribe like this video and just keep on watching All right, so we're just gonna start with the eyes um I didn't have any other headbands so we're gonna go with the mini ears that I got from Disneyland but for today I just got this palette so I was like why not to use this palette and it is the Morphe palette this one is the 25A Copper Spice eyeshadow palette right here and it's this right here look how beautiful this is and this does retail for $18 so as you can see I already did my eyebrows we're just gonna get started so for our base color we're actually gonna be using overcast and that is the name of the color or the shade that I'm using and we're just gonna put that all over the lid just to make sure we don't have any creases and make sure that our concealer is covered we're gonna go in with penne which makes me think of pasta of course and this is just gonna be a light color all over the lid and the crease just for a slight transition color that I'll be using or mixing with the other colors as well after putting on the base color on our lid and all over our eye we're gonna go in with lit and afterlife lit is the brownish color and then afterlife is more of the reddish brown color and we're actually going to mix those two together and we're just going to put it on the outer creases as you can see I'm just blending it lightly so that it's not too harsh because we are going to be building it now you're just going to use a fluffy brush just to blend out the edges so that it is not harsh or there's no fine lines just to make sure it looks airbrushed or feathered and then you're just going to be doing the same process with the same colors just so at the end result it won't be too bulky or there won't be any fine lines that you'll be able to see. As you can tell, I don't like to make it very dramatic. I like it to be very neutral. And I'm going to go in with the rose gold and the sparkly color and put it all over my lid. I am just going to pack that on my lid. As you can see, it's a very subtle look so I don't like to overpack my eyeshadow on. And then after that, we're just going to go back in with Afterlife and Lit and go back and darken the outer crease just so it all blends in together. We are going to use the Kat Von D eyeliner. Before we apply it, I'm going to shake the eyeliner just so we get the product out. Now we're just going to start at the bottom and we're just going to bring our way up to start that wing. And I'm going to start by the middle of my eye. I'm not going to start from the beginning just so... It is very precise in that I don't mess up because it is a very crucial step. I took my time and just lined up the lines together and just started to fill it in. Before we put on falsies, we're going to be using the CoverGirl Full Lash Blooming Mascara. And this is waterproof. For lashes today, we are going to be using the Christina Lashes in number 43. It is 100% human hair and I did get this on Amazon for a 6 pack of these lashes for $11, I believe. And we're just going to be using the Duo Glue for these lashes today. Now we are just going to apply the lashes to my lash line. Be very careful with it to make sure that we get all of it and the glue on there as well after I'm done applying these lashes I'm gonna go off camera and finish the rest of my eye of the other side I just got done doing my eyes we're gonna go ahead and prime our face I already moisturized with the Cetaphil moisturizing lotion this is gonna be the benefit the professional matte rescue I'm gonna put it on my t-zone nose and chin I don't know if that was just me, but I heard something. We are going to be using the Fenty Beauty Foundation. And I'm in the shade 310. This is like my perfect shade. And I love this foundation. It's so soft. It's so flawless. And you can never go wrong with it. So I am just going to put this all over my face. And then we're going to use a beauty blender. Just a heads up. A little bit goes a long way for this foundation. Like it's very full coverage and medium coverage. And I'm just going to go in with my beauty blender and just blend it all out, as you can see. I'm just going to be doing a close-up, as you can see, that my skin doesn't look very cakey. It looks flawless. 
we're gonna set our face with the Laura Mercy Air setting powder. I think it's so convenient when you grab the little travel size and it comes with a little puff and it's really all you need. Alright, so after letting this sit for a little bit, we are gonna just wipe it off the excess and we are gonna go into our contouring. For contour today, I am using the contour kit to light to medium Anastasia Beverly Hill kit. I will be using these two colors right here, this one right here, and these two and just mixing them. For the contouring, we're gonna be using an angled brush. I like to be very subtle with it and just bring it up. All right, so for blush, we are gonna be using the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. And this is in the shade Unstoppable. And just put a subtle blush on top, like not too much but enough that you see it so for highlighter that i usually use every day is the ofra highlighter and it's this one right here it's in rodeo drive we are gonna put this on our cheeks our nose and our temples as well as our cupid's bow we're gonna be setting our face with the nyx finish the matte finish right here in this bottle we're just going to spray that all over. And then we will spray with the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. And I just love how it leaves my skin looking very hydrated. And for lips today, we are going to be using the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, the Gloss Balm. I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like. And as well as the, how I apply it, it's very lightweight, so I would suggest getting this lip gloss. And it smells very sweet. So, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial with me. Oh, I just love how my lips are popping and then my cheeks are popping. Like, this couldn't get any better. Alright, you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time.